How's it going, everyone? And welcome to another video. My name's Jason, aka UK Dark Fox, and today we're going to be discussing a little feature that may have slipped through the net for some of y'all on the PlayStation 5 version of Diablo. This will be pertaining to, I do believe, the feature is now available on PC also, but we are just going to be discussing today the new update to Diablo and a little bit of a sneak peek into a future update we will be discussing also so we're going to start off today with what's actually happened so essentially they have introduced a ray tracing mode to diablo 4 so we're just going to give you a little sneak peek here now so this is the standard um visual mode i am capping the video at 30 fps now the reason for that is that the visual fidelity mode uh, or the ray tracing mode as you might want to call it is uh capped at 30 so unless you're willing to play at 30 fps which i'm not sure whether that's really going to work on such a fast-paced action rpg then this will not be for you but if we have a look at the character model here and the light in the background and the shadowing as we move around this area we're now going to enable the ray tracing mode it's actually called the enhanced visual mode it does state enhances some shadowing and reflections with ray tracing improves quality of other effects as fur her fog target 30 fps disables prioritized performance mode at 60 fps to do bear that in mind So we have got it enabled now and as you can see the lighting effects are vastly improved and the shadowing on the character model as we move around near the light we're also gonna take a little bit of a look around in the general areas we've got a puddle here i'm just trying to sort of catch some reflections but this update may have slipped through the net for some of you uh, we're just going to teleport to a different area here. Let's have a look at something that's a bit more graphical. Perhaps. Uh, let's have a look. So this is quite a, a taxing area from what I remember. And there are some nice blur effects here. Now, just recently, I have started playing a lot of my playstation 5 games in 30 fps due to the extra graphical fidelity that it does allow for excuse me have you seen this man we're gonna take a look at our map and we're just gonna uh, pick an area here ride out now when i first started playing in 30 fps it was a little bit jarring i'm not gonna lie but over time I did come to appreciate the higher fidelity and visuals. Now it does have a little bit of stutter in places. It may show up on the video, it may not. It's not perfect, but the grass effects and the shadowing is very, very good. This is kind of a dark area. It's not really a good example. We will try checking out the other side of the map. Just try and find a decent area here to highlight the graphical fidelity changes. Now, I am unsure whether this affects the resolution. It doesn't appear to. But on the whole, the shadow effect there you can see on the character model is quite impactful. And the way it dances with the light, it looks pretty goddamn amazing. It is kind of hard to show it off in such a dark game. We may be better off just seeing how it flows in a dungeon environment. That could be the more optimal way of checking this. So we'll make our way over to a dungeon here. Oh, that's just five mil of ability there. <laughs> but the shadows definitely are amazing, especially 
if you look here as we move up we've got a really thick nice you know volumetric shadow that starts to fade with the light and then multiple light sources disperse it into multiple shadows it is pretty good i'm just interested to see overall how the combat is affected especially with large packs of monsters etc I do feel on the whole it is a nice change nonetheless more options for the player always a good thing so just whilst we're loading up here i'm also going to discuss a future patch and overhaul that's coming to the game so what they're looking at doing uh, it's on the ptr currently now i will say just off the bat this area here just looks just take a minute it just looks phenomenal right so basically what's happening is in the next update they're removing a lot of uh i mean i'll just tell it how it is the bullshit affixes on items so let's just have a look here so here we have decks damage slowed enemies damage to dazed enemies damage to injured enemies it's just a lot of bullshit basically they're really simplifying down the stats i think they're going to three or maybe four three core stats per item so it's going to be like dex um weapon damage and move speed say and the passives are getting reworked they're also taking away bullshit like 23 damage to distant enemies that's no longer going to be a thing uh, there is a full workup of the PTR patch notes, which I may do a separate video. If you'd like to see that, let me know, and I will do a full rundown of the exact changes to the core stats. But it's going to be a biggie. It could save the game, essentially. Um, they really are bringing the stats back into sort of Diablo 3, Diablo 2 territory, uh, where you're going to have your weapon damage, your attack speed, then you're going to have your core stat, which for Rogue will be Deck. You're going to have a secondary stat, which could be in Spirit, Strength. Um, and then there's going to be a third stat, which could be like Move Speed, uh, Resist All. But they're keeping them very... Um, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to say simplified, but more understandable. Uh, better for the game. More clarity. You know, you're going to be looking at an item now and seeing clear defined stats. You know, what do I want? I mean, stuff like this, Evade grants 30% moves here, 23 strength, lightning resist, shadow resist. I mean, it's kind of okay. 9% damage when dual wield. It's just, it's all over the show. And they really are going to be reining that in. I would love to do a video discussing that. But the primary focus of this video today is the graphical differences. So we're going to have a little look at the lighting effects here. And just see how it differs. So straight off the bat. Although to my eyes it's a lot more fluid. Because obviously I'm playing at 60 FPS here. It looks very bland. The lighting is not overly amazing i mean it's not a bad looking game regardless um, but you can see here when i do re-enable the graphical uh fidelity mod or the enhanced visual uh, easy for you to say enhanced visuals we are getting a much more pleasing aesthetic with the light beams with the lighting on the statues the lighting up on the rocks there the light shafts are uh something to behold them like areas like this the lighting is truly phenomenal in this mod it is a big big step up in my opinion we're going to see how it affects the combat though here and i've got to say it's very playable uh, it's by no means terrible it feels like a lot more cinematic experience
They may have added a touch of motion blur, perhaps, to this as well. But I will say, for those classes that have the more flashy spells, um, such as the mages, etc., and it really does stand out in stuff like the poison on the floor, uh, the electrical uh, effects of the enemies and stuff like that, and the overall character model shading, it gives it sort of a deeper... 3D effect, even though we are playing from an isometric angle. And uh, to be brutally honest with you, I'm quite a fan of this. Uh, I may, I may play with this full time. But one thing to bear in mind is it is vastly going to affect performance. You are already going to be able to play the FPS. But like I said, I've started playing a lot of my PlayStation games at 30 FPS just due to the fact that. Uh, the graphics for me on a lot of these newer titles vastly outweigh the FPS I'm playing on a larger screen though these effects, your mileage may vary uh, but the red lightning bolts here look truly, truly phenomenal with the ray tracing and for me I think moving forward this could definitely be a way I am going to be playing this title but just to show you one more time and as you can see the lighting effects are a lot less impactful by no means does it look bad um, it's perfectly fine in this mode but I do feel it just lacks that sort of punch that the ray tracing mod inherently brings. Well, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Which do you prefer? It's a very subtle difference. Um, and I think if you're constantly running around, you may not fully appreciate it. But if you're more of a casual laid back adventurer, this could definitely be the one for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Comment, like, subscribe, bring the post notification bell and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.